Hello and welcome to your YouTube channel all about KIT exam. We are studying DBMS Zip file organization. So here in this video the types of file organization. As I have defined it already what an organization of file is. Let me define once again. It is just a way of arranging the records in a file when the file is actually stored on the disk. So here we are talking about the disk. So let me just quickly show up a disk. How we are going to look at the disk now so your secondary memory which we are considering here as a disk is nothing but then the collection of blocks it's actually divided into equal size blocks so like i would say this is my block one block two block three and so on and your file which is actually collection of records is actually going to get stored on the disk in the blocks. So this is the file and this is nothing but then the collection of records. So how these records are actually going to get stored on the disk, like in what order are you putting all the records one by one, the way you are seeing them or are you putting them as they are coming while inserting or you are making some sorting on them or you are doing some hash operation on them based on that the organization will be defined so that is where the file organization comes into the picture and how you are putting them on the disk how in what particular order it will define that how they can be accessed while you need to perform certain operations on the records which could be like retrieval simple search which could be insertion, a new record insertion, which could be deletion of certain record, which could be updation of certain record. So all these are nothing but in the file operations. How they will be performed, how efficiently they will be able to be performed will be dependent upon how the records are actually stored. That is exactly what this file organization means, right? Now, let's go to the very first type of the file organization, which is a very simple and the simplest files of randomly ordered records randomly ordered means there is no particular order these records are arranged they are just put up as they are coming in so this is also known by the name heap pile or the unordered pile heap all means something that you are putting things one over the another without arranging in a certain order and unordered itself says that these records are not ordered on based of any field. So what it is saying as the concept stores in the same order as given by the user. Stored in the same order. What is stored in the same order? Records are stored in the same order as they are given by the user. So whatever record you are inserting will be simply appended at the end of the file okay you will not see that this record has to be placed on particular location no simply suppose you have already inserted 10 records now you are putting up the 11th one for this 11th one it will not look anywhere else it will simply go at the end of the 10th record and next in the next space empty space it will just go and place that record that is the simplest way of storing so that is what is known as the heap file organization or the unordered file organization. For your further more understanding, I would simply say that let's take one file where we are putting the student data. So let's take that we are writing the student ID, student name and the branch simply. The three of the things. So let's say that we have student 1 by, by some name X and by some branch computer science. Now let's say that comes to student 3 and by the name Y, suppose electronics. Now some other record is coming. So this I'm actually saying that this is the file which is placed on the disk. Now some third record is coming S2 by some name Z and some branch 7. Okay. This some third record are to, is to be inserted. So now while inserting this record on the disk, I'm not going to look for any placement. I would just say wherever the end of the last record is, just place this record as it is. So I will just place S2, Z and 7. That's it. 
there will not be any change while making an insertion at the end of the file it will be just appended so this becomes the simplest unordered file organization furthermore you would say okay file it was the simplest way of arranging however it's coming just keep on putting keep on putting keep on putting then how it will affect so the effect of this organization we will see in terms of operations whatever operations we need to perform over a data every file organization will be checked on the number of operations that how efficiently this particular operation can be performed on this organization so we all know that what operations can be done retrieval operations simple search and updation operation which could be insertion updation or deletion of a particular record or the group of records now the very basic operation which i would take up for this organization at first is insertion because we know we are inserting in no particular order so how insertion is performed when you are saying that my file is ordered uh, my file is organized in the unordered manner suppose you already have many records in the file and a new record is coming to get inserted what is the amount of time taken or what is the number of blocks that you have to access in order to store this tell think in your mind nothing it's just that wherever the last record is inserted so all this information will be definitely stored in somewhere in the file header okay so your dbms your system software will be accessing such informations and it will know that okay this is my last location where the record was placed and this is the next place where i have to put the record so it will take order of 1 you will say the minimum time just come and insert insertion is not going to take any amount of time now if you have to make a search okay so this was the simplest but now if you have to look for a particular record in the entire file because we know that the records are not in any order they are simply unordered i don't know where what record is so in order to find out a record in the file how much time could be taken let's and every time i am talking in terms of time i am talking in terms of number of block access suppose up to b10 my entire file is stored okay my the is this entire file f1 is stored in the first 10 blocks b1 to b10 then might be possible that the record i am looking for is present in b1 correct in that case i find it in the very first block so i have to just make one block access but that becomes a best case right and we always do not run into the best cases it could be a worst case also what could be the worst case that i looked here not found looked here not found looked here not found came to the last block and found there or not found there so if you are found in the last block then how many blocks you have accessed in order to find out that it is present in the last one or in order to find out that it's not present anywhere correct how many blocks you made you make access to each and every blocks you access 10 blocks here and if i say that my file f1 is consumed in total number of blocks as n blocks then what is the what is the access time what is the access time in that case nothing but then the access time of n blocks access correct you have to access all the n blocks so that is nothing but then the order of n the big o so your access time is proportional to the order of n which is a very high number exactly very high number so this comes the search time in the worst case of course but we have to consider the first case scenario now because the searching itself is taking order of n you can you can easily tell me what could be the updation time and deletion time because for updating anything first of all i have to locate it correct we have to retrieve it so you in order to update what is involved search is involved if you have to delete something then also what is involved in it a search is involved so for updation and deletion as well as the worst case time is order of n so the best part about this type of organization is that insertion is easiest but searching updation deletion could take up to order of n okay because we have no particular order so what we have to make is we have to make a linear search 
And if you have to make a linear search, it's in the worst case become the order of n. So this is linear search.